All right, welcome back. Um, I screwed up and I broke my Caddx Turtle. And the part that I broke was the part that pretty much everybody saw breaking first and it's this cable. Uh, so what happened is I went to install it in my frame and this got a little close to one of the screws and as I tightened the screw down, it got wrapped around the threads and with a little bit of pressure, it popped it right out of this connector. So this thing is now dead. Fortunately, the replacement cables are very, very affordable. They're only, I think it was about six bucks. Could be wrong. Pretty cheap. Uh, yeah, they got a coat come from the slow boat um, to get here. But I'm going to show you guys how to repair the cable on the Caddx Turtle. So first things first, real simple. We'll just pop this off the board here. And using a... Uh, a double lot Phillips bit. Go ahead and take the back cover off. Should just be two screws. And there we go. There's the back cover. And here's the other end of that cable. And again, you just kind of put your fingernail under there and pop it right off. Real simple, so we'll take this guy and throw that. Oh, darn, I'm gonna have to find that later. And we'll take our new cable. And installation is the reverse of removal. Just go ahead and clip that on there. And then we've got these little, these little black I feel like aluminum standoffs. Just go ahead and stick one on there now. Put your back cover on. Get a screw on there. And we'll just go ahead and get this started. Just hold it all together. And let's stick our other standoff on here. And a screw. And we'll tighten it down. So far so good, pretty simple. So, how am I gonna keep from destroying this new cable? Oh, by the way, I bought a couple because if I'm, if I'm having them come over from China, I might as well get a few. And I got a few thoughts. Um, I do like how flexible this is and how easy it is to work with, but it could stand a little bit more protection. Uh, so I'm just going to take a few pieces of shrink tube and just kind of feed them over the cable like this. one and I'll put another one on there see how that looks and be very careful not to damage the new cable while I'm doing this that would be most unfortunate there we go there's two now that looks pretty good to me I think if I shrink that down it's gonna give me it's gonna be an, enough flexibility to install this where I need it to where I need it to be. Hmm, maybe not. No, you know what, I don't like that. I feel like it's going to be uh, too restrictive. Maybe make that a little smaller. Perhaps a few different pieces. Just give it a few more, a few more points where it can move. There's one. And two. You know, I think I'll leave it at that. I think that should be enough 
to offer some sort of protection, or at least make me feel like it's offering protection. It's probably not. I'm probably just wasting my time. But we'll give it a try anyways. There we go. And we'll just put this back on here. That's it. Good as new. Maybe better. I don't know. And that should be it. Um, I'll put a link to the replacement cables that I found online in the uh, video description. Let's see, one more. Um, they call it the DJI's coaxial cable for Caddx Turtle. I don't know if DJI designed it or if that's just or if that's just some marketing name. I don't know. Anyways, I'll uh, I'll post a link to that. Um, please like and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything you want to see. Uh, let me know how you feel about this uh, this camera setup here. I I have a I've done a review on it. I I really like it. I think it. I think it does a pretty good job for what it does, for what it's, for what it costs, and for what it is. Could it be better? Yeah, well, of course it could be better. Everything could be better, but for what it is, I think it does a pretty good job. Anyways, uh, check out my other reviews. Uh, please like, subscribe, and uh, let me know if there's anything you want to see. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. All right, see you next time.